basically. Again, this big supply duct was on the 20 ton air handler that was here. We took that out, put the Daikin air handlers, 10 tonners, in its place. So the supply is kind of going up to the corner of the supply here. Blanked it off. And then over here, they turned this other dike in 10 times sideways, got its supply going up into there, wanked off some of that. But then they hacked the back of this dike and, you know, the turn air is supposed to be coming in through that side like it does over there. Instead, they connected it, <laughs> hacked it in the back and blanked it up. <laughs> and what they did here is the return air is supposed to come into this panel like they did over there you know, draw through the panel, through the filters, which are falling out, and then through the coil up the blower. But what they did was they ducted it through the skinny side, the opposite side of this. So all the air's coming through there. It's probably favoring one part of the coil because of it. There's your blower. They used just a bunch of death tape over there to block off that side. I wouldn't doubt that that's probably failing right over there and pulling air through there. So it needs a whole new installation, basically. So, some jack legs. Eh, too bad, because these were installed like a one and two years ago. And it almost needs to be just redone. This system over here, which is a mirrored system to this, they put one big air handler in. Um, so it's closer to proper. The Lennox air handler tied to the... But outside of these two units is all Dyke and Goodman wannabe commercial condensers out there. Some other little fun things I think I'm going to find out there. Walking back out here now, <laughs> I see the oil stain. So I guess maybe someone wasn't kidding when they said this coil looks like it's probably leaking. Eh, Goodman Dykin. What do you expect? He said they added some weird relays and stuff to these systems. Also, there's, I guess there isn't enough wires. But, so they added transformers and everything. Yeah, they did a couple transformers, a couple stack relays, add some delays. So they're probably just letting the, comp the wire bring on stuff and then letting the delay relays probably sequence everything. I did notice on all these Daikin condensers out here, these scrolls have the, uh, you can see it right there, the unloader. So I wonder if that's even hooked up. This is supposed to be two 10 ton units, but one of them is a, this one here is a seven and a half ton. Oops. This, these are the two that are tied to that one Linux 20 ton, I assume a 20 ton air handler up there. Got two more of these 10 tonners on the other side. So as suspected, these in purple, for stage two, it's not even hooked up on this one. But then they have this wire going over here, bringing everything on at once. And I notice they have yellow, purple, everything tied together on that one. And that's just like, so that one probably, the 10 tons probably running full, the seven and a half running only the first stage without the loading valve. So it's probably, you know, closer to a five ton. So definitely probably getting some weird <laughs> results out of that. Okay, then the other system for their main church worship area. Two more Daikin. These are actually both 10 tonners. Pretty compact for a 10 ton, <laughs> but whatever. These are the two that are tied to the two Daikin air handlers connected as an L shape with the one where they improperly hooked up the uh, return through the side of it. So, likewise, they added relays and transformers and stuff trying to. And I guess part of the problem they said there's not enough wires on the indoor unit, but they did hook up the second stage purple wire in both of these at least. Because they do have the unloaders and the scrolls in there. But what we're left at here is it would take a lot to take these improperly installed units and make them work. Rewire everything, you know. Someone like me that does a lot of electrical and electronics could probably do something a little better with the sequencing of the staging and everything. But it's just never gonna work right. So uh, what they basically need is need to get like something back to like maybe a train Odyssey system, 20 ton condenser here, two circuit, you know, one train air handler up in the, up in the 
upstairs up there that's connected to it with the two circuits and then go from there with the controls and then another system over there with the two die cuts connected to the Lennox air handler. This is crazy because it's just a basket case that <laughs> somebody left for them. Man, even the electrical is not to code so the, they have this huge like 100 and almost 200 amp wire coming out and then there's no individual breakers I guess in there. So they just tied the big wire to the smaller wire. And the fear is if any of this shorts out, it's not going to trip that big circuit. So they need an electrician to come out and put some sub panels out here with individual breakers. That's all it's to that. I don't want to get involved on that stuff. Nothing like people taking out true commercial stuff like train odyssey units which i believe was what was here it was over 20 years old before it failed you know and then putting wannabe commercial stuff like dyke and goodman you know bastard units